always faithful. Uh, it shows three Marines of different races, uh, people coming together to serve in our great military, and particularly uh, also highlights the Iwo Jima flag raising, of course. Ray, uh, tell us about the thought process behind this portrait. Th that painting really captures the history of the Marine Corps. It has Samuel Nicholas leading the charge from the Continental Marines. The, the Marines were started in Tongue Tavern in 1775, which was a bar, which is a great story. But hmm. and, and he's leading the charge, and ghosted behind him is the markings that mark Tun Tavern in Philadelphia. And then it blends into Paris Island, where all the Marines left in 1917 to enter World War I, although World War I started in 1914. The United States entering that war ended it in 1918, which they laughed at Americans. The Germans laughed at Americans and said that we could fight um, we like drinking and women and sports, which they were right on the three, but they were wrong on the four. And then, then it comes <laughs> to, it, 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 it really kept, and it's Chesky Pooler, ghosted in the background, the most decorated the Marine in the history of the, of the Corps, the raising of the flag at Mount Saravachi, the battle at Quezon in Vietnam, and the Chosen Reservoir in Korea, where General Chesky Pooler was surrounded by the Chinese. And he said, we, they're on a, we're surrounded with their, on the right flank, on the left flank, in the rear flank, and in forward. We got them right where we want them. I mean, the <laughs> Marines are just 1,000% dedicated, will not lose, will not leave a man on the field. And it embodies the principles of America that I fell in love with, that I embraced and dedicated my entire life to paint. <laughs> 